Tonight, thousands are getting a head start on the holiday weekend as we look live outside over Bradley International Airport and along Route 9 in Middletown. If you are hitting the road, you will certainly not be alone. Yeah, a lot of people are excited about <laughs> getting out and about finally. According to AAA, it's going to be a very busy 4th of July weekend. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live at Bradley International Airport. And Matthew, it's been uh, a busy day by air and by ground right there. Yeah, Aaron and Mark, it has been, you know, with more than 2 million New Englanders expected to go somewhere this 4th of July weekend, AAA is predicting that we could see travel levels reach pre-pandemic levels, or at least get close to it. But there are two snags that might prevent that. Brian Patrick and a full plane of passengers landed at Bradley tonight, ready to celebrate Independence Day. It was fully packed. Uh, the the, the flight was packed with travel in high demand. He paid a little more than expected for the flight. It was slightly more more expensive, but um, you know, it's the, the 4th of July holiday. And this was the first time since the pandemic started that he got to see his parents. So he says it was worth it. The airport was was full. Um, it, you know, the energy was back. It felt like a, a, just a normal, you know, time at the airport. AAA says two and a half million New Englanders will be traveling this weekend. That's up 25% from last year, but down two and a half percent from 2019. Either way, after being cooped up last summer, Jacob Studwell is ready to go. I'm heading up to Martha's Vineyard for July 4th. As he fills his tank, he's spending more per gallon today than any point in the last seven years. What were you paying this time last year? Probably like 220 maybe. At the rest stops on 95, gas is well over $3 a gallon. In Connecticut, we're hovering around the national average, which is $3.11. According to Gas Buddy, that's 43% higher than last year and 2% higher than Memorial Day weekend. I don't know who would see gas prices and say, I'm going to cancel my 4th of July plans. I think that's pretty ridiculous. Jacob forges on, but Mother Nature may ultimately throw a wrench in the plans. The heat wave has been replaced by cloudy, rainy weather that could extend right through the holiday. Enjoy the beach weekend, but uh, if it's going to be too nasty, then I, I'm not sure we're going to stay the whole weekend. Now, if you are out on the roads, state police troopers from all 11 troops will be out in full force. They're going to be looking for DUIs and distracted drivers. That's the latest live here at Bradley tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.